Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Melinda J and I'm here to talk about talking about I'm here to talk about nine signs of unconditional love. Now if you haven't done so already, I did a previous video on another uh, on unconditional love as well and how, uh, what uh, what is it exactly and and also, um, I talked a little bit about what isn't um, unconditional love that could lead to like toxicity of unconditional love and so forth and so on. All right. So with this video here is just a quick one, two of knowing the signs of unconditional love. And there is nine of them. And I would definitely leave the source in the description box below. Okay. So well. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So <clears throat> the first sign of unconditional love is when a partner is able to tend to your needs. When uh, What it means by tending to your needs, if you need help in doing something, as far as like washing the dishes or um, of course taking out the trash, but just doing something that the person is not able or you are not able to do at that moment and of course there is someone else that is able to assist with with, with something that you probably are usually doing but you just can't get to it right now and of course if they're not doing anything at the moment that is a sign that you or your partner um, or your significant other is tending to your needs, all right? Um, and probably if you wanna give preference to that when it comes to your needs, okay, oh, that is a good sign right there, all right? Um, the second one, the second sign is when, you're, when you or your significant other support each other's dreams. Now, um, there is a misconstrued thing about when you get into a relationship with somebody and you and there is like a power trip of of supporting more than the other is by default we all think we should support you know one person instead of just supporting each other okay because as you're getting married and i'm pretty sure if you went to several weddings especially those traditional ones um when you see when you see the part where the couple is pouring either sand or water in into there's like three cups right and there's one that represents the uh the bride and there's another one that represents the groom and then the one that is empty because both of the cups the bride and the groom their cups are full right and then you have this empty one in the center that stands for that unity within that relationship, within that marriage, okay? And whenever you see both of them pour the water, the sand, whatever they use into that one container, one cup that they're pouring into, that stands for, sac uh, for the sacred union between both of them, meaning they're going to support each other's ups and downs, no matter what the circumstances is, okay? So that's what supporting um, your, uh, your dreams or each other's dreams is about. That is a sign of unconditional love. Um, one person doesn't always have to win within a relationship. You got to balance it out between both of them, okay? So number two is support your dreams. Is definitely if you find someone or you have someone that is able to support your dreams that is a good sign of unconditional love and not be jealous at the same time all right number three is when you or your partner are respecting well in this case it says respect you so if your partner is respecting you meaning they're not crossing the boundaries that have already been established within the union or the relationship. And of course, as saying goes, if you can't respect yourself, how you, how in the world somebody else is gonna respect you? So if you found someone or have someone already that is respecting you in a healthy and respectable way, then that is a form of unconditional love, 
okay? So that's number three. Number four is um, you or your partner uh, tend to each other while you're sick, okay? As the vow say in marriage with uh, with sickness and health for rich and for poor type of deal, same goes to apply within a relationship. However, um, it can work in a platonic way. Okay, you can express or you can tend to someone's needs without, you know, being in a serious relationship with that person. <coughs> so when you found someone or you are that type of person that tend to people's needs when they are ill at the time, then that is a form of unconditional love. Is not leaving the partner sick and dry or uh, sick and you out there in the streets doing whatever the case may be. That's not a form of unconditional love. That's a form of selfishness. Okay. So without further ado, like I said, number four is when you found someone or you are someone that is able to tend to pe uh, people's needs. Okay. Tend to each other's needs. All right. Number five is um it it piggybacks off the second one which is support your dreams but number five is when someone you or the person in this case how it's worded is when the person is proud of you and your comp and accomplishments and they show it meaning there's not any form of jealousy in that manner they are simply and genuinely proud of you of whatever you have accomplished at that present moment and they just want to extend your, your gratitude and be able to support you again on whatever endeavors that you want to um, go after in your life so if you are the type of person or you have someone already that is proud of you and your accomplishments and they show it uh, in the best way possible in an unconditional manner then that is a sign of unconditional love, all right? Number six is when you or your person show your vulnerable side, meaning being open to one another. How in the world you're supposed to maintain a relationship when there is not um, enough vulnerability within the union, all right? When you're holding back for so long or for a uh, be a large amount of time, you're going to be able, it's going to get to a point where you or where you push back the person because you're afraid to let your guard down and share your deepest thoughts, your insecurities and stuff like that. Or it could flip a way around where the other person is not able to express their vulnerable side because of the fact that um you're not showing the indication that you really care enough to um hold sacred of whatever they are expressing to you at that moment so yes it's important to know that if you or someone are showing the vulnerability side within <coughs> excuse me within a relationship or within the union marriage however you want to name it then that is a form of unconditional love all right Next, which is number eight, is when you and your partner believe in getting over fights. This is a big one. <laughs> this is a big one because we all want to say so. We all want the last say so. We all want to be right, all okay? right? But sometimes you just got to let that ego and pride down and be able to compromise and get to a resolution from the conflict that is happening at the present moment so if you are able to um not be passive aggressive all right and also being able to communicate with each other effectively and respectfully without interrupting each other so many times to where you're not able to listen that is the form when when you're having in when you're in conflict and you're fighting you're not going to be able to hear anyone because you're trying to get your point across they're trying to get their point across you trying to be right they trying to be right nobody is wrong you're wrong you're wrong the blame game happens when you are able to at least one 
but really both of y'all are able to sit down and actively listen to each other. Think about what they are talking and telling you about the issue or the, or the concern at the time. When they see, when you are doing that, you are processing the information and whenever you're done processing the information, then you'll be able to relay that information um, to that to your significant other and be like okay i see your point now and then you can state your point and then you come to a compromise and then you resolve the issue because as the old saying goes you don't want to go to bed angry okay i've done it a couple of times going to bed angry and it let and it led to nightmares all right so yes it's important to resolve <coughs> excuse me any fight that are going in confidence that is going on at the time so you can get a good night's sleep all right <laughs> and lastly which it follows through with um which it piggybacks off number eight <coughs> which is forgive when you or your person can forgive easily when i mean easily i mean you don't you don't hold past issues or grudges resentment misguided anger or anger towards one another okay there's only there's so much there's only so much you can do when you are holding the grudges the past resentment and being angry at one another you know why because that affects your heart <coughs> excuse me when you are holding that type of energy in especially in this heart region here your heart chakra you're going to be blocked you're not going to be you're going to be so guarded that you just think there is you just think everything is bad around you you're guarded you don't want to be able to receive anything you don't feel worthy in receiving anything because you are so guarded and whenever you get to a point that you are able to forgive then you'll your heart chakra will be able to begin to open up you will begin to open up a little bit more because you are extending grace compassion and just knowing that everybody's not perfect and you got to accept things for the way it is and keep it pushing because otherwise you're going to lead to a, a, a sunken abyss when you keep hanging on to past grudges and issues that you're going to that you said you have forgiven the person before and you end up bringing it back up when y'all arguing and fighting again that ain't good that just shows that you just never forgave the person in the first place so yeah that is number nine when you are a person that can forgive and move on all right so yeah those are the nine signs of how you know that is a form of unconditional love. Um, feel free to comment down below um, if there's any more unconditional signs that you that I may have missed or um, could add on to the list. And then I could probably do a part two, part three video on it. Uh, with that being said, I thank you all for tuning in to watching this video. I hope this was very insightful for you. Like I said before, I will leave the source in the comment section below as well as the description box all right so feel free to check that out um uh oh yeah follow me on all my social media platforms those links will be in the description box below as well share this video because it is definitely necessary uh, especially what is going on nowadays okay and be sure to like the video so you can so i can get myself up in this algorithm game girl because um the content is going to be coming at you like tenfold okay um and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already um i'm pushing towards uh 500 so i can get that community tab going and showcase uh some other forms that I would like to share with you all, as well as I would love to hit a thousand subscribers as well, so I can go be able to go live with you all on the YouTube area, okay? Um, and also 
hit that notification bell and make sure you click all so you know uh, the next time I upload these beautiful, wonderful content of a video. And I'll see you guys next time. And always remember to love thyself, uh, know thyself, soothe thyself so you can heal thyself. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.